With this current group, it's been about seven years. We gave them time to make mistakes as artists and as men, you know what I mean, to grow. So they went through all of that. So they, like all four of them are real polished artists now. It was like boot camp early on, but everybody would just be in there day after day after day. Until everybody got a, a pattern in their own routine where, okay, you can do it now. The machine is working. We built the machine, now it's working. The five deadly venoms. Well, I guess it's four, but the, meta the metaphor still is the same thing. It's like everybody specialized in a certain style. Like for instance, with J-Rock, it'd be the aggression and the actual voice. With Ab Soul, it might be the, the wittiness and the actual lyrics. With Kendrick, it'd be the flow. Like he finds pockets and patterns inside the beat that's, that's remarkable. With Q, it's a combination of content and his energy. So we actually working backwards to tradition. Usually everybody will come out in the group and then they'll break off. I mean, we want to come out as individual first and then come together and form like, you know, like Voltron. I hope it don't come across as cocky, but like this is something we really talked about and planned. So like when it's happening, it's like, okay, yeah. It's just like we said. Like me, me and Ab will sit up for hours and just talk about, you know, just different things going on with life. It's funny how, seeing how that came about. I mean, just that whole high power thing. Like I knew it was, it was something real when, it was before Kendrick's first headline show out here. It was at Arab Souls, uh, his family's record store. They was doing an in-store signing. And one of, the, one of these girls came up and she was crying in tears. And she told Kendrick that a song of his helped her get through some important things in life. I think Ab said it before, it's like, we would be selfish to stop here. You know what I mean? It'd be selfish to stop in Carson and Watts, Compton and LA, because we're trying to make universal music for the whole world. You know what I mean? We wanna, we wanna, we wanna put out something that kids in Switzerland can relate to, because it's all based on human beings struggling. We, we surface level right now, we just scratching the door. So, we got a long way to go. With that being said, I'm definitely proud of what we've done so far. You know what I mean? We come a long way from where we started at. Like, all four of those guys came into here with zero fans. To see from zero fans to where it is now, like, that's a big accomplishment.